Hello, this is Marina and Ori. Yes, and today we're gonna show you a little kangaroo conversion. Let's go. Okay, so the first thing you, you see when you come in is, well, the bed and the kitchen, which is basically the main two things in the van. Obviously, due to the very small space in the back of the kangaroo, you really, I really wanted to make the best um, out of it. So the bed is a uh, bench during the day, and then it can be extended uh, for when I'm sleeping at night. And uh, I really like it because it kind of, um, it holds a lot of storage underneath. So it opens up in two different sections and so in here I have uh, my clothes and my ukulele and I also have a small library to keep my books and then on the other section uh, that's where I keep my um, jewelry stuff and my shoes this is made with um, pine I believe it was pine it was some wood that I've used for my previous uh, build and so I just reused that and then I used some uh, more uh, pine um, for the for the front. The bed is 150 long and I'm 165 and it's wide um, 80 centimeters when it's extended. It's very comfortable for me because I don't sleep straight, I sleep with my mm, legs bent and I can fit myself and Ori in it and we, fit, we sleep very comfortably. I still haven't been able to reupholster the uh, foam, so it's still like showing, but I'll do that soon. Right now, I'll put a carpet on top of the bed just because Odi loves this bed very much, but he often has his pose very dirty. And now for the kitchen, my favorite part of the van. I put this little towel on top just to protect the sink. <laughs> this is making such a big difference beforehand in my previous build I didn't have a sink and this let me tell you is a life-changing thing so this is a, a sink with a hob in it and it's from Dometic um, and I love how it looks and how it's like uh, like a table so you can put stuff on top and so when you open it it stays up itself which is nice uh, I have two gas hubs with a ignition um, button and I have my little sink which is connected to a water pump so on the side I have a little magnetic strip where I keep my knives and like various things and I have my little uh, brush which is super super useful if you live in a van and then I have, this is my storage space for the kitchen. I've decided to put sliding doors just because the space between the bed and the kitchen is so small that uh, any other kind of doors wouldn't really have worked. So sliding doors are perfect because they don't, they don't um, uh, take any more space. And uh, all I've done is that I build up some rails with wood. They are not very, very smooth, but they were cheap so I'm happy with that and I left one of the door rails uh, free to go out so if I wanted I could use this door as a table so underneath I have some cleaning stuff and my uh, little gas bottle then above I have uh, some cooking stuff in a shelf and then some more um, pans my coconut oil which I use for everything a little uh, kettle that's powered by uh, the cigar socket just in case I don't have any gas and I want to have some uh, hot water and then below I have just my food a lot of chickpeas and beans and then on the other th side that's where I keep my water tanks and my pan um, so I have uh, 15 liters, I think. No, it's actually 10 liters water tanks. And there is one for wastewater, of course, and one for clean water. On the back of the sink, I have like my little spares where I keep my tea and my sugar and my salt, a little random candle holder Buddha. 
and then I've put some hooks on the roof to keep this little basket where I keep my fruit and then this uh, little uh, mug which obviously always always falls when we're driving so I take it off on the side here I've added some um, little cacti is that how you say plural cacti and I love this little holders my new pink holders because they're actually handmade by an Italian artisan and it's olive wood non-painted olive wood and I just find that they smell delicious and also I've asked the the artisan to add um, a personalized um, words underneath and I love it because it says sunlight over me which is a uh, which are the lyrics from a fit Fox's song that I really like so I think this adds a nice little touch to to the kitchen so here I've got my switches for the water pump and for the ignition um, I decided to have some extra switches that really were necessary just because I had bought three and I only had used one so I thought it would be a good idea to add an extra switch to everything and then on the side I've also added this little table which comes super useful because it gives extra space to do things Another great addition to this build is this um, fantastic fan. This fan is super cool because it allows you both to take air out and to uh, bring air in. So depending on whether you wanted to get your cooking fumes out or whether you want some fresh air coming in. So I connected this straight into the battery and uh, it has different uh, speed settings. Because this is going to come super useful when it's summer and it's boiling hot. As for the lights, I've installed some diorite IKEA uh, lights and those are really simple LED lights and it has a little switch in here. Those are really really bright so um, I actually wish they weren't as bright just because you can the, the van looks like a, a spaceship when I switch them on at night but they do the job. And here I have another little shelf where I can put some things and then I've also added a shelf on the top of the driving compartment and this is where I keep most of my clothes um, and here we've got a little carbon monoxide alarm which you need if you want to stay in your van there are also curtains on all the windows on the back of the kangoo so um, those are uh, backed up black so that nobody can see inside if I'm staying in. I will say that at night if the lights are switched on people can still see inside so that's why I use some reflectics on the windows to avoid any light passing through. This is where I keep my battery and where I have everything connected. Uh, in here I have a little electric box with the uh, fuses. Um, the battery is connected to the main battery of the car through a split charge relay and here I have an inverter that allows me to charge all of my you know, uh, phone and uh, computer and uh, whatever needs um, 240 volts. So on the passenger seat of the van, it's where I have the most of mess. This is where I keep everything that can't fit in the back. So I have my banjo, my little garbuka, I have a paddle. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, this is where I keep my shower tank. So this is a 30 liter um, tank that I use mainly to shower myself, to shower the car or to shower uh, Audi. Um, and I use it with this um, 12 volt shower um, that can be connected to the uh, cigar box. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I will be posting videos on how I made the kitchen, the bed, the curtains, the roofing uh, on the channel and also some blog posts on the blog uh, so make sure you subscribe to this channel to um, get notifications on when that happens and you can also find us on Instagram and Facebook so I shall see you there goodbye